Isidore Joshowitz, Life in Kolodna, Ukraine. To talk about my grandfather, I must begin at the end. My grandfather came over to America at the age of six on the USS Finland in 1919. He came over with his mother, Esther, and his father, Joseph. In Czechoslovakia, the family consisted of Mizedi, the oldest son, his mother, and father. Other siblings would be born in America. My grandfather was born in Kolodna, a town in Subcarpathian Rus, and was part of Czechoslovakia when he was alive, and is today a part of Ukraine. Kolodna still exists today, and is very much the same simple agricultural town as in Mizedi's time. Kolodna was a simple town, and in his free time, Mizedi would play with the farm animals my family had owned. My great-grandparents were simple farmers, and the family had left for America in search of a better life for themselves. In Kolodna, in the eastern part of Czechoslovakia, it had been rural, without the urbanization that had occurred in the Sudetenland in the west. Later on, the land would change hands and become a part of Ukraine, as seen in this map. However, my family left the country before the land became a part of the Ukrainian SSR. They had gained land from the democratic benefits of the Czechoslovak Republic after the First World War. Today, Kolodna can be found in the Zakarpatia Oblast of Ukraine, and can be found near the small town of Uzharad. Because of the poor quality of life for my family in Czechoslovakia, my great-grandfather came to America to earn money for my family to leave Czechoslovakia. He came over on the USS Batavia in 1906. By 1930, my family had become fully American and were citizens of the United States of America. Despite my family's arrival in America, this did not mark the end of Mizadi's experiences in Europe. In World War II, he enlisted in the U.S. Army Air Corps. He was deployed to Kassel, Germany. He would go on to liberate a cousin from the concentration camp at Bergen-Belsen. However, in the Holocaust, the Nazis murdered many members of my family who had stayed behind in Czechoslovakia. In Czechoslovakia, my family had been poor farmers working the land to make a living. Not an easy life at all. This meant my Zadie did not have time to take vacations anywhere. Despite a lack of money in Kolodna and overall poor quality of life, the country treated my family well. There had been little anti-Semitism, and people had been kind to the Jews in Kolodna, Ukraine. Isidore Joshowitz died in White Oak, Pennsylvania on June 29, 2007.